Hello, and welcome back to another War Thunder video, where today's video is going to be about the P61C1, and this will be a fast action-packed round, and this was actually my first round in the P61C1, and I have it stock, so it will not be as effective as it would be if it was fully upgraded. So, one of my first impressions of this vehicle was what an interesting radar it has. I have not seen this kind of radar on any other vehicle. But you could see it's located in the front of the plane, right on the nose. And another interesting thing about this vehicle is it has lower mounted cannons. It has four 20mm cannons, and they are located on the bottom of the plane. But it also has a turret that has four 12.7mm Browning machine guns, which you can use as almost as if they were anti-air guns on an airplane. So, right now, I was just trying to progress up and try to get over the bombers since these 20 millimeter cannons absolutely wreck bombers. This plane also gets an air defense fighter spawn, so it spawns at higher altitude and spawns at high speed. So you could easily get over bombers and completely wreck them with the 20 millimeter cannons. And the cannons also have 800 rounds, 200 per gun, so that's enough ammo to really destroy everything. This is quite a big plane, and it's also quite heavy as well. This plane, you cannot turn fight in it, so don't expect to be dodging Japanese prop planes, as you will see later. And this plane also is very tanky, since the pilot and the crew never really die because it has a 16mm bulletproof glass in front of them, so it's hard to penetrate through that. So, right now, I'm just on the lookout to see if there are any bombers around and I'm still gaining altitude so I can get over them. Now I don't go as steep because I want to gain some speed before I attack the bombers. Because when you're attacking bombers, you don't want to be slow. You just don't want them to help speed you. Because the bombers, their strength is armor and your strength is speed most of the time unless you're a bomber attacking a bomber but that's what you should do with fighters always gain energy and when attacking bombers keep that energy so right now I spot some Japanese prop planes I want to go for the one at higher altitude I don't really want to deal with two Japanese prop planes lower altitude. But then I see this DO-217 and he looks like a very tempting target so I go right after him. So you can see I try to shoot. This plane is very wiggly so I miss a bunch of them. Eventually I hit him in the tail and light him on fire so he's down. Now I have to deal with these Japanese prop planes and the P-42, I'm pretty sure, 43, starts to shoot at me. Try to turn around and then I get my turret and I start to shoot up them. I light one on fire and then I immediately focus on the other one. I get rid of the, first, the second one and then the first one goes down. So, yeah, 
a lot of things happening there. My plane is extremely damaged, but you can see it's still flying. And I check if this T-100 wants some, but it doesn't look like it. This BF-109 is also coming closer, but he moves away too. And they're going after my friendly Yak-9. So, I go down a bit just to make sure that I can shoot this BF-109 in case he attacks me. And I'm already in first place on my team. So right now, I just wanted to head back to base. And also some other interesting facts on this plane. Instead of having flaps, it has more like fences. It also has air brakes, which not many planes have at this rank. And about the turn time, it has a 27.5 second turn time on stock and 25 for 25 second turn time when fully upgraded in realistic battles. So, there you saw how this plane is tanky, it has a super powerful gun, and it's basically a bomber and a fighter combined. Although, it's slightly more maneuverable than a bomber, but not even close to like a fighter. But, it's a big tanky plane, and quite good. I was really surprised by the outcome of this first battle that I had. But right now I just was planning to head back to my airfield. My team is gonna finish off the rest of the enemies. I'm not even going to be able to get to the airfield before they finish them off. But I'm gonna end it here. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video.